Typical Training Day, episode number one. This is a video I make for myself. Uh, putting this up on YouTube in case somebody gets inspired by it, wants to try this method of training for strength. This is the second time I'm trying to record this. The first time I got halfway through and my phone just died. Uh, hopefully this is still going. Uh, if it dies again, then I'll just give up on the narration part, making my own videos. But I hope you guys get something from this. This is a complete strength training routine that will also result in some nice hypertrophy. Been inspired by Chad Waterbury's uh, writings on high frequency training. I love training. I love to train every day, like my hero Jack LaLanne. And this is my way of doing it. It's got everything I think I need and nothing I don't. I like the Bruce Lee philosophy. Perfection is attained by getting rid of things and simplifying versus adding. But I basically do six exercises to work the entire body, plus this calf work that I'm showing right here. I start every workout with one leg jumps. Uh, they've worked really well for me to bring up the size of my calves. I've added about an inch onto my calves in the last four or five months. Uh, focusing on those one-legged hops. I'll do 80 on each leg. Uh, no particular way of doing it. Today I just happen to do four sets of 20. Sometimes I'll do 30. Split it up however you want. And then finish off with 20 one-legged calf raises. So it's a total of 100 reps on each leg. And by the time I'm done this, I'm, I'm awake. I'm ready to go, ready to train. I just like having big calves I think it looks cool and uh, it's the, the foundation for fitness it's you got to keep your your ankles and your feet and your calves in good shape so everything else works well then I do a light shoulder warm-up with band pull apart so I'll do 10 to 15 reps then I'll do band punches and around the world so you'll see here excellent for getting uh, blood flow into the shoulders and get you ready so at the, if you skip to the end of the video, I listed all the exercises and the, and the uh, percentages that I use. Basically, uh, you can split this up any way you like. Six exercises. Each exercise, you're shooting to do 12 heavy singles a week. And I base this off of Doug Hepburn's excellent training routine uh, for strength, which is based off singles. And when you max out on singles, you can't go any heavier you switch to triples. When you max out on that, you go back to singles. And it's a very long-term, uh, a great way to train for strength. And uh, I, I think it's great for muscle mass if you, if you uh, do more volume on the warm-ups. But this one's super simple. Um, a super simple routine. You start off with a set of five reps, your first warm-up set. I find about 70% of your one rep max works great. Load 70% on the bar, do five reps, go up to 80% for a triple, and then do your singles at 90% or more. So you should be able to do at least 90% for singles uh, and go heavier if you feel like it. There's a couple ways you can do this. You can either do it Bulgarian style, John Bros style, uh, where you do as much as you, you feel that you can with good form uh, every time you train or you can do it Doug Hepburn style where you stick with specific weights for a period of time and only add weight uh, periodically so not necessarily listening to your body as much as the Bulgarian system but doing more of a just a slow steady progression until you max out it's up to you which way you want to do it. I like to start with strict curls because I love curls. I love big arms. Always have. So much fun. And that's my priority. I want to have the biggest arms possible. So I, when I start fresh, I do my strict curl. The strict curl is really popular uh, in 2020 right now. Even Arnold's doing it. So I like to start off with that. Uh, that first video, uh, it should be... First set was five reps. I think this is uh, my next set of triples. My max starting off is 145 pounds. Yeah, this should be a triple. There's one, two, yeah. 
So triple's at 80%, so this is about uh, 120 pounds. And then uh, 90% of 145 is 130, so then I loaded 130 on the bar for my first single. It's pretty simple, eh? You think, what the heck? This guy built muscle with like a set of five, a set of three, and then singles? Yep. And just remember that it's it's 12 singles per week, so you can split that up any way you want. If you want to train strict curl every, every like six days a week, your goal is to get 12 singles. So that'd be two singles every day, six days a week. Uh, sometimes that's fun. Uh, you can also do, say, three days a week. So that would be four singles, three days a week, to get your 12 singles a week. Uh, and I suppose in a pinch you could do one brutal workout where you do 12 max singles at 90 percent um don't recommend it though you probably want to train this at least twice a week but I, I like three days a week so there's my second single and then i'm gonna do this again the next day so i just cut it there that's it set of five set of three single single done then i set up the floor press exact same thing my max is about 300 pounds right now i haven't trained this for a long time my best is 410, but I was at a heavier body weight. I'm Mr. Rip now, and I, I like being lean. So uh, start off 70% uh, for five. So that's about, actually that's 225. Right? And then I go to uh, 245. No, this is 255 for a triple. Again, just... Going by feel, I know about how much I can do for a single, so I just base the weights off that. Nice and easy. Remember the goal, uh, Doug Hepburn talked a lot about this too. You know, for a warm-up, you want to do the least amount of work to be the most prepared for your work sets, for your heavy singles. So just keep that in mind when you warm up. Some days you walk into the gym, you feel strong, you feel fresh, the weight feels light. Sorry, I got interrupted there. Um, yeah, some days you feel strong, fresh. The weights, the weight feels light. You want to just blast through everything, get to the get to your work sets. Other days, uh, things feel a little heavier. You want to take your time, but just remember, do the minimum uh, to get the maximally prepared for your set. So don't waste energy on the warm ups. What really matters here is your heavy singles. That's what's really pushing your strength. This particular routine, you will gain muscle. Although, uh, I believe that uh, instead of doing singles or triples, which is what this program focuses on, if I was to transfer into, say I'd do six months a year of this strength work and then switch to six months of hypertrophy, if I was focused more on muscle size, um, I would do more sets of, sets of five to sets of eight. But it's the exact same principle, right? So the floor press there, I worked up to uh, two singles. At I did one at 275 and one at 295. I was feeling pretty good. Chin-ups, do a neutral grip chin-up. Chin-ups are fantastic. You see, like I, to me, I picked the six movements that not only I love to do, I really enjoy doing. Because if you don't enjoy it, you're not going to do it. Uh, and the movements that I feel are most effective for building muscle and strength and I'm working the entire body. Uh, Chin-ups are, are king, it's just a king exercise. Great for your abdominals, builds a strong upper back, biceps, forearms, you got it. So I did a body weight set of five, and then I threw a 45 on, did a set of three, and then I threw another 25 on, I think, so 70 pounds. Most I've done on this lately is a uh, 100 pounds for a single. Uh, now with chin-ups if, you, if you're working on percentages you want to add your body weight to that so I weigh 200 pounds add 100 pounds of weight so it's actually 300 pounds is, is my one rep max so 70% of that would be about body weight for 5 80% is about 40 pounds I'd use 45 um, that's 70 so that's about 270 and that felt really good so I think I added weight here and I went up to 80, maybe even 90. And uh, 
pretty casual. Uh, just remember that muscle is built. The reason your body's going to build muscle isn't because you do some crazy, awesome one off workout one day and hit a record. Muscle is built because you did more intense work this month than you did last month. It's a game of months, not days. So if you look at all the chin ups I'll do this month, you know, maybe I added five pounds here, or there. When you add those up, that amount of work is more than what I did last month. You're going to gain muscle. Remember, you want to treat your body like a house plant. You can't just dump a, a, a bunch of water on a house plant and expect it to grow. Uh, it takes time. It takes a bit of sunshine, a bit of water, a bit of Mozart music. Take your time. <laughs> and uh, each month it's going to grow a centimeter. And then after a year, the plant's grown a foot. But it takes a year, right? So be patient. Uh, anyways, got my two singles on chin-ups. And then I went to handstand push-ups. I highly recommend everybody to work on your handstands get good at push-ups and then get good at incline push-ups pike push-ups and then try to kick up into a handstand on the wall it's very empowering if you ever need a good shoulder workout you can do these anywhere anywhere there's a wall i'm still not very good at doing freestand handstands but i'm really happy with this performance i did a you can't change your body weight, so to change the intensity, I change the range of motion. So I start with a half range of motion, then I go three quarters, and then on this one I worked up to, uh, basically my hands are on a couple plates elevated, so that, uh, it's called a deficit handstand push-up. Uh, super happy with this, feels amazing, fantastic for your wrist strength, your wrist mobility. Uh, good for circulation. I mean, it's just anything you can do calisthenics body weight is going to be superior in my opinion uh, it, You know if I if I get really good at these I get bored of these uh, I'd switch over to a barbell, but uh, I'm loving these right now. And, you know, I can do them. So I will Yeah, pretty awesome Oh coffee's good today Okay, what else we got here? Okay, then I went on to pistol squats and I've been working on these. You can set them up as I have here with a band. Uh, if you're not very good at pistol squats like me, this really helps to get the full range of motion. These are fantastic for your hips. Uh, you really feel these in the quads, great for the glutes, great for your hip mobility. Pistol squats are just amazing. Um, not a big fan of lunges, I don't like to do them. <laughs> I don't find them very fun, but pistol squats these are something I can work on. So as you see, I start off with a black band and then I go to a thinner band. So that was a thick band for five. Then I'll go to a thin band here, do a triple. And then uh, I've been getting, I've been nailing the body weight uh, pistol squats. So I'll do two singles. So, you know, when you choose these, choose these movements, you wanna do th movements that you really enjoy and always check your feelings when you work out. You, you know, you're constantly surfing the wave between boredom and anxiety. And you want to be in between those two. So if you find you're bored of your routine, then you want to challenge yourself more. But if you're anxious and it feels like it's too much, maybe you're nervous about trying that heavy bench press or what have you, that's your body's signal, hey, you know, maybe take it a little easy. You don't want to be anxious. You don't want to be bored. You want to be right in the middle. You want to be in that flow. You want to be in that happy place where, you know, you don't even realize an hour went by. You're like, whoa, I was having so much fun. This is awesome. Always listen to your body. Working out, for me, the weights are like meditation. It's, it's my time to listen. And then finally, good old deadlifts. I'm using the trap bar variation. This is kind of a half deadlift, half squat. I love it. This combined with the pistol squats and the, the jumps work every muscle in your legs. Really enjoy this. I used to deadlift over 600 pounds. Now I'm just getting back into it. This is the first time I've deadlifted in uh, months since before the quarantine. 
Um, but I worked up to, uh, what did I do there? Two, I think that was 225 for five. This is, that felt super light. So I went 315 here for a triple. And then I uh, went 365 for a single. I think I worked up to 405 for a single. So again, split it up any way you want. It's You have to get 12 singles done per week. And I put up the stats for you there. Each week you're going to end up doing six total sets of five reps. And six sets of three and 12 singles. Um, and split it up any way you want. The goal here is to get the monthly work done. That's what builds the muscle. And these are the six exercises I chose, plus the calf raises. You can insert your own exercises, but get all these done for those reps each week and add weight when you can and watch those PRs go up. Till next time, my friends.